welcome back. So for this next segment, I just want to say big congratulations to every Grenadian man, woman, child um, who came out, uh, who attended uh, the successful uh, Grenada N National Learn to Swim Week, um, which was hosted by the Grenada Youth Adventurers. Ms. Deb Eastwood is with me this morning. She's back to just... Ah, she's beaming with pride because I know she was quite happy about the, the turnout. I saw some images and I saw some more mature women and I was like, yes. And I saw some little ones that were like, yes. How are you doing? Good. Well done. Thank well you. done. Thank you. How do you feel now that I, it's all over? I, I feel good. I really do. And yeah. I so appreciate there was such strong community support for oh, this. Yeah. That's what really made it successful. Yeah. I mean, we were on 11 different beaches, so we had to have group leaders on all the beaches and lots of volunteers on all the beaches. And there were some amazing stories of the children that learned and the yeah. women. We had tons of women that came that I didn't expect. They yeah. would come, some would come and bring their children, their children for three or four lessons. And then like even on the last day, a couple of them said, well, we're gonna get in today. Good. And they would get in and take a lesson. Aww. It was very rewarding to hear some of that's, those stories. That's so fantastic. And I noticed a couple locations, the Grand Mall location, yes. Lassages Beach, Grand Nance Beach, you know, Pool, uh, Good Hope. I, yes, did you get? Good Hope was good. Wow. Yes, so lots of locations. What did these participants say at the end of it all? Um, it's been great. I mean, some of them brought gifts to their instructors. Aww. Some of them wrote letters. I've received some emails back. But um, it, it's been wonderful. And for the volunteers, it's been wonderful, too, because when you give your time like that yeah. and you actually they're all they all have their own stories. All the volunteers like um, this child that was just really afraid and was clinging yes. to them. And then it was nice that we did multiple lessons because by the third, fourth, fifth lesson, they were floating on their own and doing things on their own. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Ooh. Exactly. They were doing it. Yeah. You know, every now and again, you hear you hear these just just sad sad stories of drowning incidences and then this happens and we need more of this we right. really need more of this where people can understand fundamental just the basics what can you do if you get into you know some form of difficulty in the water and exactly and you would say if you can just get on your back on i your mean back. our ultimate goal with everybody was to do elementary backstroke this. this is I a group of doctors this. that came in um that, that, that came in and were like a major foundation to what we were doing. That group was doing work on the island, uh, some volunteering, but they actually were my fill-ins. So if Lhasa Jess was short, right. um, they would go out to Lhasa Jess. Great. Like I could take three and put them here, put three at Cameron Park. Um, I could put them wherever I needed right. and it kept every location solid. Good. It's nice. Good, good, good. What's next for you? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> I have to tell you, the, one of the things that is really uh, I'm passionate about is, uh, is the ministry school program went away, and I'm not sure why, mm -hmm. okay? And that had the biggest impact, even a bigger impact than what I'm doing right now. They had 20 schools going up to the school, uh, to the Good Hope Pool in the mornings and being taught, and mm -hmm. so that's about 400 a term, and I'm not sure, but I want to get to the ministry and find out we need to bring that program back. That's yeah. important. Yeah. Um, I'm meeting with the uh, group leaders to eval everything we did. What could we do better? What went well? Um, and we've already set our dates for next year. We're gonna Fantastic. we're gonna do it again the week after Easter. It'll be March 29th to April 2nd. So, wow. um, and a travel philanthropy program because I had a group of um, there were 14 volunteers from the U.S. that came, paid themselves, mm -hmm. stayed at the Flamboyant, um, and and volunteered. They were another core group for me that I could count on. I put them at the different locations and split them up mm -hmm. so that um, they, I always knew some volunteers would be there because you know volunteers can come and go, say they're coming but not show up. Yeah. But between that group of doctors and the group leaders and this U.S. group, yeah. it was great. And I think we could double the number that come if we did an official travel philanthropy program. Yeah. So uh, I've been talking to um, I think it's ethical ideas consulting mm. about how we might be able to put together some kind of program like yeah. that. You were in the middle before we had a little uh, peek at your photos. Um, just to let viewers know, one of the key things you need to do um, if you do encounter some form of difficulty, and we were saying just, you know, if you can get on your back, 
that's yes that's that's what I was saying and yeah. do elementary backstroke I didn't even finish that yeah. I'm sorry no, that's okay okay that's the okay. ultimate is was to get all the kids floating on their back and then being able to do an elementary backstroke right. if they can do that they can get themselves to safety yeah. if they remain calm yes 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 very very important very very important is there anyone I, I mean I know you have the volunteers you've mentioned how grateful you are to the volunteers any other folks that played really pivotal roles in making this learn to swim week there are huge success there are I mean I have to thank Republic Bank they have a right start program that is incredible for kids in fact we switch banks because they do so much with their right start program they were our major sponsor mm -hmm. and then um, the marinas were yes. very supportive. We've got nice contributions uh, from Whisper Cove, from Budget Marine, um, Grenada Marine uh, actually let us use their location. Yeah. So that was great. And there was a woman named Lorna Morton who just took it on herself to go out and single-handedly raise funds for us and probably brought in a fourth of our funds through raffles and jewelry sales and wow. uh, just donations. So yeah. I'm very grateful to her. Yeah, fantastic. Anything else? To to, to just mention um, whether it's your group um, I know we want to share your email address you were looking for um, you want folks to know ah, yeah we got it okay yes there what's next what's next is if you want to know and especially if your children learn to swim or mm -hmm. if you want to learn to swim and you don't want to wait a year for this next program if you email me we put together a list there's uh, six swim clubs on the island most of them offer learn to swim programs um, some of them offer adult learn to swim so if you've taken a couple lessons from us and you want to do more, you just email me and I'll send you that sheet of paper that has that list of clubs, private instructors, and um, different things that you could do so that you could learn to swim. Excellent, excellent. Deb, good to see you and Thanks. well done again. Thank you very much. Well done again. Well done to uh, Team Deb Eastwood, <laughs> Grenada Youth Adventures, everyone, the volunteers, the locations, everyone. Hi, Auntie Laura everyone who played a really pivotal part it's really exciting and if you can't swim it's not too late we'll keep you posted as to uh you know when when's the next one or you can contact the swim clubs you just heard uh, deb mention so please become empowered and learn to swim today thank you deb thank you we'll be right back